dog. But if you happen to own a Jack Russell Terrier, that probably isn't enough. These high-spirited little dogs just love a day at the races. And it seems whatever these pet pooches want, they usually get. Um, the obstacle course. Well, it may not be the Melbourne Cup, but for these dog owners, this is the most important race meeting all year. The final field day for the New South Wales branch of the Australian Jack Russell Terrier Club. OK, now, we'll take entries now, which will be for the flat races six years and under, the six years and over flat races, and for the hurdle race. OK, now, the only other thing is that please remember that all Jack Russells that take part do so at the owner's risk. If that sounds a little overdramatic, you must remember that for these folk, the Jack Russell isn't just a dog. How much does your dog mean to you? Oh, I wouldn't part with them for me. They're part of the family. And they just sort of, they just, they're there, they're, they're family. Do you like your Jack Russells more than your other dogs? Yeah. They really, they, they really have taken us. Like, we started off with one, and it's just blossomed. Well, that's exactly what happened Australia-wide. About 20 years ago, there were virtually no Jack Russells registered here. Now there are more than 5,000. But we're still a long way behind England, where the first Jack Russell was born. His name was Trump, and he was owned by, you guessed it, the Reverend Jack Russell, who bred him to be the perfect hunting dog, a talent these tenacious little dogs still have today. Really? As the Jack Russell population grew, so did his popularity, to the point that now even the Queen's corgis and Lassie had better look out. Uh, I think the royal family now uh, uh, will change to Jack Russells very shortly. He may well be right. After all, Fergie has already got a Jack Russell, and if the little fellow is anything like its Aussie counterpart, it probably expects to be treated like a king by its royal owners. They sort of own us, we don't own them. So you spend an awful lot of time yes, with them? Yes, we do. Do they need a lot of love and attention? They need very little. They, they demand attention from you, but uh, they don't uh, take a lot of um, caring as such or grooming. They're just a frisky, lovely little companion. Well, there's no doubt they're the perfect pal to take to the races, which, by the way, even included a fun obstacle course. But on the more serious side, Jack here was the overall high point winner of the year. <laughs> what do you think's his secret? Oh, good master. <laughs> but probably one of the biggest stars of the day was Moggy. He tied with Santa Paws and Alice as runner-up in the veteran division. But you can't really split the trophy in three, and at ten, Moggy is the oldest. Not to mention he's just recovered from a bad bout of heartworm. Here we are. How do you feel about Moggy winning, Rita? Oh, very good. That's deserves it for an old age pensioner. <laughs> Well, great little dogs there, the Jack Russell.